You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Ezekiel chapter 35, and we'll be reading from the Contemporary English Version. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, condemn the people of Edom, and say to them, I, the Lord God, am now your enemy, and I will turn your nation into an empty wasteland leaving your towns in ruins. Your land will be a desert, and then you will know that I am the Lord. People of Edom, not only have you been Israel's longtime enemy, you simply watched when disaster wiped out its people as punishment for their sins. And so, as surely as I am the living Lord God, you are guilty of murder and must be put to death. I will destroy your nation and kill anyone who travels through it. Dead bodies will cover your mountains and fill up your valleys, and your land will lie in ruins forever. No one will live in your towns ever again. You will know that I am the Lord. You thought the nations of Judah and Israel belonged to you, and that you could take over their territory. But I am their God. And as surely as I live, I will punish you for treating my people with anger and hatred. Then they will know that I, the Lord, am punishing you. And you will finally realize that I heard you laugh at their destruction and say their land was yours to take. You even insulted me, but I heard it all. Everyone on earth will celebrate when I destroy you, just as you celebrated when Israel was destroyed. Your nation of Edom will be nothing but a wasteland. Then everyone will know that I am the Lord. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at this portion of Scripture today. And we thank you, Lord, for the fact that it's your desire that the nations know that you are the Lord. Lord, we recognize that by nature we are idolatrous people. We love to go in all sorts of directions, and it's very easy for us to adopt the worldly mindset of trying to find satisfaction for our souls through created things instead of through you, our Creator. But Lord, you've revealed yourself to us. We see evidence of you in your creation. You've revealed yourself to us through prophets. You've revealed yourself to us through your word. And in addition to all of that, you came to this earth and took on flesh and walked among us. Your word tells us that as we saw your son, Jesus Christ, in our midst, we saw you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. And we're grateful that you have graciously revealed yourself to us. Help us, Lord, to live as men and women who are absolutely convinced that you are Lord. And we pray that the testimony of our lives and the words of our lips would reveal that that's the firm conviction of our hearts. We're grateful for your love. We're grateful for your presence with us today. And we thank you for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.